Okay, guys, I'm in here. So let's see. Um, we're talking about camera. This has been very uh, difficult for us, Maya users, to work in Blender and control this camera. So um, normally, if you come in here and press N, that sidebar is gone. So it's back, and you go to View, and I'm just doing this. I'm, I'm holding middle scroll button Shift. As you can see, the whole camera is moving. I mean. Uh, the scene, the camera's not moving, just the scene is moving, just panning actually, not even moving. So what I want to do is work on my rule of thirds, maybe composition, let's pretend I have a bunch of stuff in here. So once you have camera selected, boom, like this, you need to come in here, press view, open this up where it says view lock, click on camera to view. And now if I middle scroll down, I'm actually rotating the camera. See, like if I wanted this shot to be maybe something like this, hold shift, bring it over, and so forth. Like let's say I want to do something like this, right? That's my shot. Okay, so there's my shot. See how it's working? And then I leave it alone. So now once I deselect this, there's no way you can move this. Now if I go here, anything like that, nothing's happening. See, like if I go, I'm just panning. Nothing's happening. Okay, so remember, this took me so long to figure out. It was kind of painful. Okay, so camera to view is the way you kind of pivot and so forth. All right, uh, for this, what do they do here? Light, uh, you can always change your light in here somewhere, I think, I believe. Here, you can make it to something else. I put a color on it, so if I go back to white or whatever, I don't know. So this is, this is we'll talk about light another time, okay? So basically, you can change it to whatever you want. You want this to be something else, you can do that. And for the life of me, let's leave it alone. Okay, so this is the shot right now. And rendering is usually up here. See here, this little camera and the view icon, that's where your rendering setting is. Right now I have it on Eevee. I'm gonna start with cycles. I'm gonna see what that does. Okay, so look at this render, 128 viewport is 32. Okay, so watch this. If I go to render, render image here, which is F12, this is gonna take a bit of time. I believe this is the, the previous method of people in, in uh, Blender. <clears throat> would be using okay so you can see this is going this is a pretty I think it's probably 19 20 10 80 um, yeah so it's a lot going on here okay so this is the shot so far and then once this is done I'm gonna come in here I'm gonna go to image save image okay so right now there's nothing here to save sorry about this it's taking a bit of time I can talk my way through this can I okay so let me just pause for a second this is taking too long Okay, so it's back. So now I should come in here, image, and what do we got here? Save as. See, so now I can come in here, save as, and Blender scenes. I'm going to go up. I think I, I start putting images here, and I'll just call this P, and then uh, tree. I don't know. I should have called it shot, but save as. Okay. And again, when you're in here, image, save as, one more time. Look at the options. You can go to PNG, JPEG, and so forth. So let's say I'm going to do this in JPEG now, right here. See? So even though it's called tree, now it's JPEG quality, I can crank this to 100 and so forth, and I'll go save as and done. All right, so this was Eevee, uh, sorry, this was Cycles. So now watch, I'll come in here again. I'll go into Eevee, which should be a lot sweeter. So let's see, um, I added ambient inclusion here. And let's see how this is gonna turn out. Okay, so basically you should be pressing F12. Do I have a function key here somewhere? I do, but I can't see it, I'm blind. So I'll just come in here and go render image, okay? Let's see, this should be a lot faster. Look how fast that was, okay? So there it is, that's that's my shot. And I'm gonna go in here, save image, uh, save as, and this one I'll go uh, tree02, underscore of course, 02, and I'll go EV, something like that. Eve, E, just for EV. And let me just go underscore here, move over, put Eve. There we go, done. All right, so that's done. Not a great, it's not that, it doesn't look that great at the moment. Can we do something with lights? Let me just delete this light for a second and put a new one in, okay? So I'm just gonna get out of this and I'm gonna go to add here since we have lots of time. Lights, and I'm just gonna go with spot. Hello, spotty. Watch this, this is kind of cool too. And I think, look at this, oh, ho, ho, I love that spot. Look at this arrow, see that? Oh yes, okay, so let's see what this looks like right now, okay? Um, and again, I should be in light here. And let's see, what's the watt? It's 10 watts, that's it. Okay, forget about this preview, because it's white. So I'm gonna say I'm gonna make this all red, okay? <laughs> I don't know, I'm going crazy right now. So look, 
here. Okay, so I'm putting a red light on, and if you want to rotate, click on the rotate icon, and boom, something from the side. Press, uh, I was going to say press W, no, G. So let's see how this is going to turn out. Okay, we'll go into the camera view, and then uh, sometimes what I do is I go into rendering. See here? This is the render icon, right? So at this point, 10 watts is doing nothing. So what if I change this to 100? Uh, nothing again. So let's go to 1,000. This is cool, right? So you see what I did? I forgot to show you guys this right here. That's your, uh, I should be like pivoting my, my mouse. So basically here is shaded. Here is uh, some kind of lighting, but this is the render view, right? So I'm just going to crank this to 1,000. Okay, well, let's just see how this looks, okay? And let's go, Evie. Do your thing. Do your thing. Okay. Not much light there, okay? <laughs> Oh boy, I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to maybe duplicate this and so forth. So look, I'll get out of this and I can go. Uh, is it Shift D? Yeah, it's Shift D. And I'm, oops, didn't do it, did it? Shift D, buddy. There you go. Okay. Now I'm gonna press rotate. I'm gonna come in from two sides, and you know what I mean. And then uh, W. No, <laughs> it's grab, and then whatever you want to do here, and let's say. Something like this. There's got to be some cool stuff here. Specular radius. Ooh, what's this? What if I go to one? I have no idea what this is doing. But I'm going to have to play around here to, to understand the lights in this sense, okay? So we've got two lights in here. Let's add one more. I'm going to add uh, the sun. I'm going to blow this right out right now. Lights, sun. See? This pretty much says uh, we're in business here. Let's see. Strength is one. Okay. Let's just see how this is going to render. Okay. So now remember, I don't like this the way this is looking. So I'll press camera to view. And now I can come in here and I'm going to hold shift. I'm going to pan or I'm going to go middle scroll, something like this, right? I'm going to hold uh, shift and uh, let go of shift and come in here like this and zoom and bring this down like that, whatever. So let's see how this is going to turn out. Okay. So this is it. I mean, I'm just blowing time here. Render image. Let's see what we got. Okay, so zoom. There it is. This is my shot right now. This is kind of interesting, right? Okay, it's not what I want perfectly. Uh, I'm sure I can do a sky dome of some kind next time. All right, save image. We're done here. And this is tree EV number three. Okay, bye-bye. How long was this? Oh, seven. Thank you, everybody. Camera. That's, that was the message. Bye-bye.